April 17th, St. Anicetus, Pope, Martyr. St. Anicetus succeeded St. Pius and sat about eight years from the year 165 to the year 173. If he did not shed his blood for the faith, he at least purchased a title of martyr by great sufferings and dangers. He received a visit from St. Polycarp and tolerated the custom of the Asiatics in celebrating Easter on the 14th day of the first moon after the vernal equinox with the Jews. His vigilance protected his flock from the wiles of the heretics Valentine and Marcion, who sought to corrupt the faith in the capital of the world. The first thirty Thirty-six bishops at Rome, down to Liberius, and this one accepted all the popes to Semiticus the fifty-second in 498 are all honored among the saints. And out of 248 popes, from Peter to Clement the thirteenth, 78 are named in the Roman martyrology. In the primitive ages, the spirit of fervor and perfect sanctity, which is nowadays so rarely to be found, was conspicuous in most of the faithful and especially in their pastors. The whole tenor of their lives breathed it in in such a manner as to render them the miracles of the world, angels on earth, living copies of their divine Redeemer, the odor of whose virtues and holy law and religion they spread on every side.